D.C.? Oh, man, one of my favorite comedy spots in the entire country. I performed in D.C. probably about a good 10, 11, 15 times. It was one of the hottest markets, man. Everybody around the country wants to get into this club, so. For, like, black comedy, you know, a mecca. You know, Martin Lawrence, Dave Chappelle, Earthquake. You know, a lot of people came out of D.C. Teddy Carpenter, a whole bunch of Joe Cleasy, you know. What up, Joe? <laughs> um, <laughs> first of all, it says that's clip. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Well, Adam, we were crazy <laughs> enough to ask him to read out uh, the prompt in here. Wisdom, you can do the first half. Okay, that's, that's, clear. Clear. <laughs> that's a clip from our interview last night with this guy. He's an actor. He's a comedian. He he's an author. Yes. Did you know that? You yeah. have, well, you've done some of everything. I've done You're some a former everything. football player? Yes. You're in a fraternity? Yes. Yeah, I know you from way back. Yes. Yeah. Wisdom, we go way back. We go yes. way back. So why would you tell me to dress down he's when you, you, you don't play with me? <laughs> It's okay, we got time for He's you to talk He's at the DC Improv. Awesome. That's yeah. where he is. That's so, where he is. That's, I think that's you, Finesse. So. All right. Well, hey! So? Hey, this morning, Finesse is here talking about his comedy <laughs> shows, his love for DC and more. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. No, we're not going no, anywhere. We're, we're here now. Oh, we're here now. We're here right oh, okay. now. Well, hey, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, Mama. Hey, Auntie Fifi. Hey, Stacy. There you go. Uh, let me ask you, what do you like? I mean, we talked about your love for DC. Yes. What is it about doing comedy in DC that is smart different people. than any other place? Smart people. We always people. hear that. Yeah, really? It's a smart crowd. How do you get that from the crowd on stage, though? Well, because you do certain material, and it can be highbrow jokes. Oh. It could be political <laughs> jokes. But there's a this tolerable where people are like, okay, I respect your opinion, even if I don't agree with it. Right. Oh. But that was funny. Because yeah. they respect the <laughs> and joke. And they laugh at you. And they, they laugh, laugh at the crowd. Yeah, laugh at you. Because you could do those same jokes in Ohio, and they're just like, no! <laughs> Bill! Our Ohio in here is like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Obama was the worst. <laughs> Boo! Something like that. Yeah. Okay, all right. What is it about comedy that, that keeps you interested in this? You've been doing this for a long time. Yes. A long time. So what is Why it Why are you saying it like that? A long time. Well, because I'm saying oh, you're a veteran. You're a veteran. Yes. Saying, you must be good. I started you? BET's Comic View in 1998. Uh-huh. And then in 2003, I got Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was a quick rise because I kind of picked up the game really well. I did the homework. I... But it takes you a good five to seven years to right. figure out who you are on stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot, of new, a lot of new jacks don't realize that. Let right. me ask you, uh, what's different these days, I'm sure, among many other things, you've got social media, right? Yes. It's the potential to go viral, to reach a wider audience. Yes. There's also going viral for not the best reasons. You yes. and I were talking during the break about cringy moments. Yeah. Or even uncomfortable, uncomfortable moments that go viral. I, Ariana DeBose is what I was asking you about. Do you lean into, like, if it's a joke that fell flat, do you embrace it, lean into yes, it? Yes, I would lean into it. Yeah. It, it, there's so many cringe moments, and there are so many comedians that even get in trouble for offstage right. stuff. Uh -huh. I would lean into it. You know, some people disappear, go away, and then hope that, you know, they just pop back up like nothing happened. <laughs> hey, <laughs> come see right. me in Cleveland, you yeah. know what I mean? But uh, with a cringe moment, if it falls flat and you're trying to entertain, uh, double down. Okay. Double down. Okay. Like, like Trump would do, you double right. down. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Like if somebody walked up on the stage while you were doing a monologue. No, then you, you beat them down. <laughs> That's a different. That's we're a not, different. The comic's not allowing people to walk on stages okay. no more. We okay. saw what happened when that happened. Well. You know? Yeah, all right. So that's a no-no. Don't, yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't walk on stage, people. No, no, people. no. Not, not with finesse. No, no, not with finesse. Not with finesse. Don't do that. Okay. I'll take the lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Gladly. But, Gladly. But you don't take the beat down. You ain't taking the beat down. I'm not, I'm not taking you, the beat okay, down. Right. What are the projects you got going on? Because I know you stay busy. Well, you know, there's History of the World, the, the famous... Um, uh, Mel Brooks and Gregory Hines. Uh, everybody remembers History of the World. Mm -hmm. uh, we're remaking it. Okay. Uh, well, Wanda Sykes remade it with Nick Kroll and a whole okay. bunch of... When I say it's a who's who ensemble cast, Seth Rogen, J.B. Smoove, it's a whole bunch of people remaking. Mm -hmm. It's already out. It's right. coming out March 6th uh, on Hulu. Right. So I'm involved in that. I play Jesse Jackson. And oh. I did not know I could do Jesse. <laughs> But when I saw the check, I said, yes, sir. <laughs> Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. I can do this all day. <laughs> Green eggs and ham, I like to play. Um, so, yeah, I play Jesse Jackson, uh, and she plays Shirley Chisholm. Mm -hmm. um, wow. And, and, but it's just different pieces of throughout history right. and Wanda's take on it. And so it's so fun. She's great. Yeah. yeah. yeah she um, never disappoints. And then there's just, uh, I just finished my one-hour special. It's called Slightly Offensive. Mm -hmm. It's looking for a new home, so maybe Netflix or Hulu <laughs> or whatever. But it's so funny. I shot it in L.A. 
and I'm excited about it. Our people forming half of it tonight since it's not out yet. Okay. So it's people are guaranteed to get a great show yeah. because all these jokes are like bam, 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 right. bam. Okay. Right. And uh, and then other than that, just being a great dad, you know what I'm saying, and mm -hmm. just you know happy to be on on break. Right. From them. <laughs> right, yeah. Because you left them behind. I thought what? they were on yeah. break. You're talking about your break I'm on from break. Them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. right. I don't even answer the phone when they call. Yeah. <laughs> they try to FaceTime. I hit ignore. That's you talk, break. Like, you talk about them in your comedy show. Oh, that's right. Because yeah. I got a tall baby. <laughs> you know? She tall. How old are the kids? Uh, three. Oh. And eight. Just oh, so turned eight. Stay, you busy, busy. Yeah. But, you know, you, all you got to do is close the door sometimes. <laughs> I know. Just, right? And lock it. You can lock it. But you know how sometimes these new builders leave so much space at the uh, bottom of the door? Yeah. Right. And all you see is these little fingers coming <laughs> from under the door. Right, right. right. I mean, that's all that, that's everything that goes on in my house. Well, we got to wrap here, but when and where can folks check you out? Hey, I'm at the Improv tonight. All right, there's two shows tonight, 7-something and 9-something, and then mm -hmm. tomorrow night, 7-something and 9-something. Right. You only have two nights to see Finesse Mitchell. Okay. Saturday Night Live alone. Um, BT Comic View, author, uh, author Disney football Channel. Player. Why do you yeah. keep saying for, I didn't play in the game? Yeah. I was just <laughs> on the team. It's a difference, man. Like you keep acting like I was the rock or somebody. <laughs> Hey, man, he was Warren Sapp. He was the Ray Lewis sitting next but to me. You were at the U. You yes, I was. U. I see your watch. I see what you did. I see all the jewelry. I said, he I said, I said, Wisdom, what do I wear? Dress down. Yeah, he said And you he up. got on Easter, he you Easter Sunday socks okay. yeah. with the matching tie. Like, why are you trying to out GQ me? Actually, he's not even usually this sharp. I know he's he not said, this yeah, sharp. He, he said, said I'm about to out finesse finesse. Yeah, yeah. But he literally said, yeah, man, just wear a T-shirt. <laughs> And I said, I'm going to wear a blazer I, I just in case. I think I heard him say sweats, too. Can you it, really I don't know why you did it like that. They double, right. double teamed me. Look at your socks. Look at these socks. Look at these socks. These are, I'm trying to impress <laughs> <laughs> socks. Those are swipe right TikTok socks. <laughs> Tinder socks. Oh, those are those are. Oh, my God. With his legs in the air, it is swipe right. Come right. on. It is 1052 right now. Coming up next, the perfect.